there are six observations that you look at in a weight-bearing position. So the patient is in a static stance. They're not moving when you do this. They're very relaxed. Um, they're double limb support, so you're not having them stand on one foot at any time. And we'll talk through the scoring, but the total score gives that overall foot posture estimate, which can be helpful with interventions or potential things that we want to do with orthotics, which we'll talk about in the next chapter. So pronation are given positive scores, a neutral foot are given zero scores, and supination score, supinate, supinated feet are given a negative score. So there are six criteria, and we'll show you these on the next slides. But you're looking at the position of the tailor head, and so you're going to go through and you're going to palpate the position of that tailor head. You're also looking at the lateral curvature from the perspective of supra and infra. So you're seeing what's happening as far as does it look flat, does it look concave, or does it look convex. You're looking in the frontal plane at what the calcaneus is doing. And this is the one that people will easily be able to score because, as I've mentioned earlier, we look at this a lot with our patients and seeing what's happening either in a static position or when they're walking. You're also looking at the region of the talonavicular joint and you're looking for a prominence. So is that prominence bulging? Does it seem like it's hollowed out? And that's going to give you a particular score. You're looking at the height and the congruence of the medial longitudinal arch. And lastly, you're looking at transverse plane motion, the ABA deduction in the transverse plane of the forefoot on the rear foot. So when a patient does this, you should have them march in place a little bit and just stop in a real comfortable stance. They need to remain relaxed with equal weight on both feet during the whole test. Arms should be at their side, and they should really stay in that stance without moving. Now, this could seem like it would be difficult for some patients, but once you get good at this, it goes really quickly.